Hello friends and welcome to this video. This is going to be a series of the video that will be discussing different type of floors. So we are going to be carrying out the design using this shopping mall uh, plan successfully. So at the first floor plan, we are having a solid slab at the first floor plan of this shopping mall successfully. And then at the second floor plan, we'll be having a waffle slab. Okay. Then at the third and fourth floor plan, we'll be having a rip slab. And then at the fifth floor, we also have a rip slab. Then over here, we have a flat slab. Yeah. So we are going to be discussing all of this and we carry out the design successfully using product structure. Okay. So the shopping mall width is 21.14 meters and then we have the length to be 24.125 meters successfully so here are the panels so from point one to panel 22 successfully i've called for this uh, shopping mall and then you can see the dimensions right here we have up to 5.0 by 5.225 right there as one of the largest panel right here. So we'll be discussing this fully as we will this the we'll divide this uh, presentations into part by part so we can be able to have a, a detailed discussion. In this design, we are going to be considering BS810 as well. We will also consider ACI code successfully, but we will first of all go by the BS810 after which we will look at SCI code in the process of this design successfully using protest structure. Okay, so if you have a need of personal mentorship on this program product structure, don't hesitate to reach to me through the contact in the description of this video successfully. So we can commence or you join the rest of uh, our students who are presently enrolling on this program successfully on this in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create a grid lines just as i've created my profile grid lines just like this okay so we will be learning the fastest way to carry out this grid line formation successfully so let's get right to that so here i have this floor right here without a grid line so for you to start to create a grid lines you must Make sure you set a green line layers right here because product structure do understand understand green line and then a kind of a polyline members for the columns the walls successfully okay so now you can click on layer to create a new layer over here you can click here to create a new layer so you give it a name as a green line and then change the color successfully after which you can now proceed to use it successfully so for well now i'm not creating any grid line because i'm already having this one called grid and then i have another one called grid lines so i have two grid lines in this okay so i will be closing this and then i want to pull out one of the grid lines so i can use it okay successfully this one is already active grid so i will use that one okay for the grid line space so I'm going to be showing you the fastest way you can be able to greet this uh, structural uh, plan successfully. So to do that, we will be using a construction line. So using a construction line, you can type XL on the keyboard for construction line, or you can proceed to the draw right there, and then you will see construction line right here. You click on it, all right? So we go by XL. So type XL on the keyboard, enter, after which you just have to right click and then click on the offset, this offset option. So select it right there. So we have to specify offset distance. So for us to specify offset distance right here, we will need to uh, actually know the thickness of the wall of this uh, shopping mall. So we can have a grid line centralized successfully between the walls. So the thickness of this wall is two to five and half of two to five is uh 112.5 so i can key in right here 112.5 as my offset distance all right so i enter on the keyboard 
what you just need to do is select the external line or internal line and offset it inward or outwards. This is inward, okay? So that is my grey line placed successfully. I do that right here, okay? So I continue to do this just like this, doing the offset successfully. So you can see this is how you can create your center lines or structural grey lines successfully. So this I'm going to do to all of the walls I have in this structural plan system. Just like this. Okay, so you can see I've been able to create my grey lines successfully. All right. So if you check on this structure, I have two grey lines, about three grey lines here. Okay, so this is for the staircase modeling. All right. So if I want to apply this to the other structure, Structural plan, okay, I can copy this from here. CO, copy on the keyboard. So I can pick it from this reference point and then take it all the way to this promotions and then I'll place it here. Okay, just like this. So I can decide to also work on this by using the match property. See, match property, I pick that, pick the existing green lines I've drawn and then I select this to match it as the same layer with the green line layer successfully. So after this is done, I will navigate to the draw panel. I have a rectangle right there, pick it, okay? Then I will pick at this edge, all the way to this edge, I placed it. So I want a green line extension of two meters or 2,000 millimeters. So I will do an offset from the rectangle I drew. I key in 2,000 millimeters, enter, select the external wall and offset it escape select the uh previous rectangle e on the keyboard to erase it just like this you can see after which we will be trimming this up so i will select this external green line use the arrow trim on the keyboard so i can be able to trim all of that just like this you can see all right so having trimmed that, I'll now have to delete the rectangle right here. So I have all my gray line in place, just like this. So this is how you fast track creating your gray line profile on your structural plan. We will be proceeding to have a better understanding on the structural plan system of the shopping mall. So you can see the panels is being cut from 1 to P22, all right? So from panel 1 to 4 are cantilevers and 5 is also cantilever up to 19 and 22 are cantilevers. All right. Then we have one lift well here. Here is the staircase provisions. All right. Okay. So over here at the second floor, we have a waffle slab. So this is our waffle slab is patterned in two way. Okay. This is designed as a two way uh, reinforced concrete uh, floor. All right. Then from third and fourth floors we have the wrist slab which is only designed as a one way and then it's patterned just the way you are seeing successfully okay so up to the fifth floor we also have a wrist slab right here okay over here is a flat slab as you can see right here so the cantilever we are having here is up to 2.7 it's up to 2.7 to five meters okay in that directions in fact in the both directions is the same thing okay we have right here so another thing you should note about the structural plan system are the columns we have an hair shape column here which is tagged as column c2 we have column c3 so we have also column c1 so columns are being tagged based on their shape the numbers of reinforcement in it and the height successfully so this one is based on the shape and the height of time this because we have not designed it so we wouldn't know the number of reinforcement so by the time we're done with design you cannot know that yes this has to be retired based on the uh, design reinforcement successfully the height and as well the shape okay so this is all you need to know about this structural floor system so we make progress okay using AutoCAD so subsequently 
the structural plan is going to be converted into DSF file so it can be interpreted in uh, product structure. We are now comment the modeling of these slabs successfully. We will load this slab successfully, we analyze and as well design it successfully. Okay, so stay tuned, stay connected. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And then if you know this file, you can check the description of this video. You will have this file successfully download so you can follow up the uh, video tutorial successfully. So at this point, we will be stopping here as we will continue in the next presentation. Stay tuned. Stay connected and see you in the next presentation. Bye for now.